All right, welcome back to my Let's Play of Hero Wars. We are probably about four hours or so before the, well, I guess three hours, 16 minutes before the pet event launches. So we're not going to show that on today's episode. We'll go to, that'll be on tomorrow's episode when I log in for tomorrow. But uh, we do have, like I said, we're going to try to let these bounce the mailbox and see if there's like a soul event. Um, we'll probably leave the open chest till later. So I'm not going to do it on camera today. We have a quest there. Let's grab these. Level 75. Nice. So what we will do today is we will try doing the next chapter. But first we gotta do our arena fights and stuff, so let's do all that. Let's get our outland here. Because we're about 15 minutes to cut off time, so we have plenty of time to actually search for our targets here. And, uh, Let's see. We have a few of those which we will save. The demon dolls we will save. So let's burn off some of this energy because we got. Oh, so we'll we'll do the campaign. We'll just let it sit there for a second. We're only we only lose one per minute, one per minute, so it's not a big deal. Let's open these though. <gasps> chaos cores. Give me more chaos cores. We can evolve Aurora's artifact. Nope, chaos cores, please. Gain it. Well, tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll get a Vol Aurora's artifact. We just need two more chaos cores. Boom. All right. Well, maybe we'll get lucky. Nope. All right. Astral season. Water of Titan. Ishmael's first... Ugh, I hate quests like this where you have to use a specific hero. Like, that's just stupid. Stupid quest. Okay, let's level up everybody. Then we get to equip the books. All the book of prophecies on everybody. Maybe we'll probably run out of things. Oh, we don't have that. Well, we'll look for it in a bit. It's dodge plus 60, so... And this one we have to be level 84. See? Book of Fate. Another one of those. Book prophecies. We can't even do more book of prophecies now. We're used up all of our things. Like, see, we can't even evolve Celeste. Oh, we need the Anthracite Palace. Okay, that should leave us enough to, because we can still buy energy too. So, we'll go. So, we're going to do the next chapter of the campaign this episode, or at least try to. But let's go level King, and then we will go do the thing. Okay, let's find a fight for us. Oh, we haven't forged yet either. Let's forge. Another strength. Strength plus 28 adds an extra 1100 health. So that puts it at 136k health. Physical tax up to almost 6k. So that's only has 14k power. <laughs> Alrighty. But that's why I've been grabbing so many of these, uh, of these things, because I go, we burn through them so quickly, it's like absurd. Alright, let's go fight 
fights. Wow, we didn't drop too many since yesterday. Look at all these defensive wins. Like, Aurora is just kicking butt. This one could probably beat. Oh, she got hexed. Now when we evolve it, that will add a whole lot of extra dodge every buff, like, and that will be pretty significant. And we're almost to Violet on Kane. Like, we might just take Violet to Kane during the event, like, if we get to level 80 before then and get that last uh, jewel we need. We might just pay for, pay the rest of it to get it to Violet, because that's such a game changer. This one we should get. Sebastian could cause us problems. Like, if we lose, it's because of Sebastian and us not having one. <laughs> Yep. That Sebastian doing the Sebastian themes there. Blocking all the status effects like a champ. Okay, well, Cor Corvus is down. But Sebastian's so powerful. Bye, Morgan. But my heroes are powering through it. As I said, can't stun them when yeah, they have Sebastian. But Aurora's doing all the damage here. Let's see. Oh, we could probably beat this one. Stuns. Oops, Lust is gone. Now Galahad's gone for them, though. Bye, Thea. Bye bye. Nice, two eighty nine. Poor Celeste is behind now that I don't have a book for her. Gotta pick my battles wisely. The twins, ooh. Oh boy. This one's probably doable. Probably, but we don't know. The level difference might just screw me, so. Because you can't land uh, the Sea Silence when they're that high. Yep. Just the level difference getting us here. Too much of a level difference. Like they're just like I said, the level difference does matter. But we're making our way up there.
Uh, we'll try it. Brachne's gonna, like I said, we got Smash to protect against uh, my Brachne stun, so I'm gonna be at a disadvantage here. Like I said, see, we're gonna get stunned, and I can't stun him back. Celeste is gone. Okay, well, their Arachne's gone, though. So we, we might be okay. And Kane deleted Sebastian. Okay, we're gonna win. Bye bye. Awesome. All right, so that takes care of my arena fights for the day. New arena record, nice. Previous rank is 275, current is 240. Nice. Hero promote rewards. Guild War defeat. We're 40, 50 silver trophies now, so tomorrow we can add one more the rank on our totem. Could probably clear out these ones. Oh, totem spam. Screw that stuff. Okay. Oh, we maxed out our energy again. So let's go do campaign stuff. Oh wait, astral. Five times the gosh, that is so terrible of a quest. That is absolutely terrible of a quest. We'll probably just ignore it. Oh, let's see. Well, can we do this one? Let's try doing these ones at uh, three stars real quick. Yeah, I think we got this one. Three stars. Nice. Let's see, so that one didn't get a Lamort's card, but that is but now we can farm that one easier. Which is good, because that's one you farm a bazillion times in this game. Well, let's see if we three star this one. All right, three stars. Boom. All right, so let's see if we can three star um, Typhoon. Keep Celeste in the light mode. Just so we can try to heal up here. Energy.
All right, so let's see. I think we'll be okay, we'll see. Come on, come on, nope. Nope. Nope, it gets done locked. Yeah, we ain't gonna be able to three star him for a bit. Sebastian makes this a bit easier, like, but you're, he's not, he's gonna, because of high, how high level Typhoon is, it's inconsistent, but, like, they were pretty much like last time, Aurora's, like, this is gonna solo it, like, plus Kane. Ah, oh, we might even get that, ha ha ha! So, stun locks, dang it. Didn't quite get it, so yeah, we didn't even win at that time, but that's fine. We'll just go to the next chapter, though. It's gonna be a mid 43 star, that one. We got lucky the first time, I guess. Sometimes those dodge rolls, though, make a huge difference. Long ship moorings. These sturdy vessels might have lost their captains, but the northern gods will take vengeance upon anyone who tries to use them. We can get a Lycanthrope's Fane here, plus we got Lady Minstrel, Draugr's, Little Golems, Valkyries, and Lars here. We can actually start farming Lars souls here. Oh, we got the cool battle music now, too. Okay, turn off auto to clean up. Valkyries are pretty tough. Take a bit, because they put their shields up that make them tough. Like that, but it uh, doesn't work for the pure damage, so. Old game back. Let's auto for a second here. Okay, I think we're okay. Oh, shoot, she put her shield up right before fun Kane ulted. Bye bye, Valkyrie. Valkyries don't die, they fly away. Uh, 
bye bye. They die though. Lycan's Rope's Fane Fragment, plus a Panaptive Orb Recipe Fragments, which we do need. Old Docks. The docks used to be busy day and night. Once, local craftsmen swung their axes without rest here. Now, all are gone to war with the monsters. Unique event, Demon Doll. Uh, Master of the Forest. I forgot to look at the enemies. That guy called Master of the Forest. Some people think he's tough, but if you use Aurora, like... He's not tough because it's magic damage. Aurora and Arachne are both pretty good. <laughs> like, this team's really good for this whole chapter. He's actually, the next three chapters, this team's really good for it. Like I said, they just do magic damage and activate Aurora's Rainbow Halo a lot. Said Frozen Visages. So this is why you like, Ara like Arachne's good here. Because they start doing this garbage. But... Said Celeste can block it. Um, magic defense buffs are good. Arachne can stun him, just like that, and then you allow Aurora to advance while they're stunned, because Aurora is almost invincible because of Rainbow Halo, she does not take a lot of damage from them. Like I said, they put a status effect, like a slow status effect, but uh... Like I said, all that stuff, Arachne stunning them is good, Aurora's Rainbow Halo is good, magic defense buffs from... Thea and Maya are good. I don't have their artifacts really developed, but also Celeste. Plus, you have lots of healing. Like, that's about how I always beat the first phase. You just stun them with Aragni. Aurora advances, burns them down with Rainbow Halo. Awesome. Lamort's card. That's how you beat him, though. Jorn's Hut. A gust of Jorn, grown ancient in these lands, saw both the rise and the bloody fall of the Nordic nation. Even he wept like a baby. Required 10 energy. Frozen Face, Valkyrie, Little Golem, Draugr, uh, Lady Minstrels, Lycanthrope Fiends. And of course we got the Demon Dolls going here. Oh, Celeste died. And silence also works. But you want to get Aurora up close to... Like I said, you see how the... Like I said, right? It's... You have Maya burning it down, but... uh, Like I said... But this guy, watch. We're going to time out now, because... Uh, it's not, she's not close enough. You got to get Aurora close enough, which is why stuns work, but we might not be strong enough, but Kane's gonna kill it. We might not be strong enough yet, because we don't have the magic defense buffs up, like we'll have to work on artifacts here. Sad. We're gonna have to work on some artifacts. Because we don't got the magic defense buff, buff artifacts up, like that's gonna be it. We're gonna have to do Thea and Maya artifacts now. We're past the Grays on Aurora, so we can probably do Maya and Thea. Or, yep, yeah, Maya and Thea. But like, Aurora is such a champ versus the frozen faces, though. They, like, take forever to kill her. 
because of Rainbow Halo. Because of how much she mitigates damage from the Rainbow Halo. Like, they just take forever. Like, but if you can get her up close to the Frozen Visages, she'll literally burn them down with Rainbow Halo, even if she's completely locked out. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have, we're gonna have to come back to this chapter a bit. We're gonna have to buff up our artifacts here. So we'll probably just call it the end here, but... You see this? This is what you would do. But, uh, tomorrow we'll get Aurora's Artifact evolved, and then we'll probably work on Thea and Maya. But we did get this, this episode, this one complete, so... Scan, Screaming in Camp, Nordland. Alright, so there's that. Mel, we got our ranking reward, 80 emeralds. Guess we can do the tower. Yeah, the one I couldn't beat the Kraken, like three stars, that probably was a sign I probably wasn't ready for the next chapter yet. We're close, though. Like, we're probably a level or two from it. A lot of it is just uh, having those magic defense buffs. And I could probably power through that one, but uh, we just don't, like I said, magic defense buffs make a huge difference. Like having the Admiral's artifacts up will help a lot. But because we're not going to do any more on the campaign, we'll probably just go spend some energy to try to get those Book of Prophecy fragments. Gosh, we're missing all the fragments we need today. Not good. I needed those. The magic defense buffs, like, that's that's how I did it last time I cycled through Thea and Maya's magic defense buffs. And, well, they what they have now is almost irrelevant, because they haven't really done anything yet on them. <clears throat> But the frozen visages don't have particularly good uh, magic penetration. It's like so the magic defense buffs usually do work pretty well even at low power. All right. Gosh, I missed like all the items today.
Last one. Hey, we at least got something. But, uh, yeah, we got at least their items we needed, but still, like... Man, we missed so many items today. It's kind of like that yesterday, like, just... RNG hates us. I haven't done this yet, either. Girl skin. Go do Titan stuff. I've already done TOE for the day. We opened an artifact though. We haven't opened, alright? We haven't opened or leveled up, so we'll open a Titan artifact sphere. Let's see. Put a level here. And we'll go clean this. And that should do it. Um Okay, let's see if we can evolve any of these guys here. Nope. But we can probably put a levels into Hyperion. Level 26, look at that. That means he is ready for prime time here. Um... Because they're low level, we probably cut Myrie, not Nova. I think on the high end, Myrie is usually better than Nova, but the low level, the stun is probably going to do more than the than the one that's the support buff. Awesome. So we're probably just going to call a video there. We can do it set. I don't know. Like, if you guys want to see the dungeon, I've cut the dungeon off a couple of them. I just, I think dungeon's pretty boring. But, uh, like, if you really want me to, I can do the dungeons. But uh, I just think it adds a lot of unnecessary time. So we'll do this arena fight, and I'll probably do the dungeon off-camera. Um, let me know in comments below, though, if you do want to see me do the dungeon runs every day. Because uh, of all the stuff you could do in the game, it's I think dungeon's boring. It's boring to do, it's probably even more boring to watch. So I'm going to try, like I said. If you really want me to, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I'm going to try probably doing it off-camera. Like, I've literally cut the dungeon out of some of these videos at this point, like, because I just don't think it's worth keeping. There you go. But yeah, anyway, I uh, hope you guys found this video enjoyable. Uh, come join me for the next one, and uh, where we will start the Chorus launch event. Thanks for watching!